let's get more detail more into the actual description of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how did he look really how was his body how was his color what was his color how were his hair how were his clothes his belongings and all those things everything is alhamdulillah written very nicely in shamail by at-tirmidhi he describes very detailedly he basically collected all hadith and put it in one place and so it's very easy to refer so instead of mentioning hadith again i'm just going to summarize it for you the whole chapter into one so let's look into this so the first before we get into the actual description what how was rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in looks and he was very very handsome very attractive i mean it's just not about you know he's our prophet okay so you have to tell him beautiful and attractive no he was really attractive and we saw the poetry from last week how people praised him he was very handsome and let's look at what actual sahaba said they didn't exaggerate they didn't lie they didn't just you know out of love they said something they were speaking the truth like this sahabi bara ibn adib radhiyallahu anhu he said i never saw anybody or anything more handsome than him he was the most handsome <coughs> and ali ibn abi talib radhiyallahu anhu he said i did not see anyone like him neither before him nor after him and abu hurair radhiyallahu anhu the, the one who has the most ahadith he said rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was so clean clear beautiful and handsome as though his body was covered and molded in silver and jabir ibn abdullah radhiyallahu anhu said he was more handsome beautiful and more radiant than the full moon i mean i can go on quote quote you many ahadith but you know it's just that he was very very handsome and just not that he his looks his personality itself was very dignified you know like when you know that you know sometimes you enter a place and you see this personality you're like in awe like you're just attracted to him and people everybody's attention you know they they take up so that's how rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was and when people would see him they would say this person has to be the messenger of allah he has to be just by the looks because he has that aura he has that you know look with with that you know that profound respect people would give him that because of just because of that personality and when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to uh, miraj right ascension in the heavens he met many prophets and everybody so when he came back he w- was describing people oh you know i saw that prophet musa alaihi wasallam he looked like you know he looked used to look close to that person of that tribe and isa alaihi wasallam it looks like more like that person and he said that uh, prophet ibrahim alaihi salam prophet ibrahim alaihi salam looks more like me so he looked more like prophet ibrahim alaihi salam his forefather so the chapter in shamail starts with the uh, hair of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi salam when it talks about noble description and uh, we will see a little bit about how his hair was how it looked um the uh, the type of hair was it curly or was it straight or how it how was it Yeah it was it yeah it it, it was slightly curled it was wavy but not curly Exactly yeah it wasn't curly a little bit wavy and it was definitely not straight and uh and how, how what was the length of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam hair was it long was it long, short long. So there are different ahadith about it and uh obviously as different seasons pass by and different ages he goes through his hair was different obviously in summer he would keep short uh, allahu alam we don't know but he had different uh, lengths of the hair and one in hadith it is mentioned that uh, his hair reached ear lobes okay it reached ear lobes the front hair it reached up to ear lobes and sometimes he would extend it make it big until it comes to it would reach the shoulders the front hair right reached until the shoulders but regardless he had very dense hair his hair was very dense okay and sometimes he would shave his ha- hair also right that was also seen but uh, the scholars also mention that th- this hair keeping the long hair it was uh the tradition at that time the arab culture to keep the long hair 
And so that's why some of them said that it is not from Sunnah. So yeah, you love Rasulullah so you go about keeping long hairs. Some people do that. But it, uh, there are something which was specific to the culture and the time of Rasulullah So that was culture-based thing. But you know, there are many other Sunnahs that we'll discuss that it was not specific to any culture. And those Sunnahs we should focus a lot on. But some of them, like this one, this was specific to their culture, the time, the fashion at that time, which was very prevalent. And he used to, even though his hair was long, he used to take good care of that. He used to oil it, you know, and uh, comb it. And uh, and he had actually, uh, actually he also used to make braids, you know, the, uh, the what do you call that, uh, plates. You know, the, the, he, he would make like four plates out of his long hair. It's not like the plates that women make. Uh, it, it's like a little different. That was also the culture that time. They would just make like plates for braids. And, and in Fath Makkah, when Rasulullah conquered Makkah, he had four plates at that time. He was, he, he, that was the culture, as we said. So, yeah. Sometimes uh, some people try to uh, copy that today, but in, in today's culture, it would really look very odd. Uh, that that one is you know again a culture based thing and he it's also reported in some hadith that he would he had a part in between the hair and maybe that was natural or maybe he did a part we don't know but it it was in the middle in the middle part it would just come down like this and he also used to obviously comb and oil the hair and did he have any white hair Yeah, as the brother said, not more than 20. Some said 14, 18. I mean, obviously, as the age progresses, it will be different white hairs. But he had, he, he had about 20 white hair. So he died at the age of 63 or so, and he still had like 20 white hair. He so was quite young. Look, I mean, he, he didn't use to dye his hair. So some people would use black dye, but he did not use any dye. Did not use any dye. And, you know, one thing that's very interesting is that, you know, people loved him so much that people would actually count the white hair on his, you know, that really shows how attached they were. Some people would be like, oh, I want to worship Allah, just tell me the hadith, I will write, I will write all the hadith and so on. But it's just not learning knowledge from him, learning about the deen of Allah. It's about the love of Rasulullah They would be so much attached to him. They want to know everything about him, how much hair he has. And they also recorded it, where those white hair were, where exactly it was located. So in the hadith, it is mentioned that some of the hair was on, on his temples and um, also on, in the middle part of his uh, hair, the, in the part area. And they also mentioned that when he would put oil, those white hair would kind of disappear because you know obviously it gets uh, you know uh, more uh, less dense and soft so that would be the case and what about his beard how was his beard rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam his beard was full and dense and it was very thick and black and it would reach how how long it was it would it it would it's a big one. It, it would almost uh, reach above the chest, like almost, you know, it was very thick and it was big. And the Sahaba recorded that when he used to recite the surahs, it, it, would, it used to shake because of the length, you know, it used to shake. Um, and it's also mentioned that sometimes he would like, uh, when he was upset about something, what would he do? He would just like grab like this and move it up and down. So that was his practice. So people would know that. You know, people would find out. Okay, he he looks upset now. 